Hello and welcome back to Plant Week. Today we're going to be talking about how plants change, seed dispersal, and pollination. Phenology is the study of changes in things like plants and animals. Today we're going to be looking specifically at plants. Have you noticed how plants change through the fall, winter, spring, and summer? Plants pick up signals from the world around them. If the daylight's getting shorter, if there's more precipitation in the air, the plant will know that it's closer to fall or winter time and start going through those kind of changes. We meanwhile, if the days are longer and the weather's a little bit warmer, it will know that it's summertime and it needs to go through those changes as well. So right now it's springtime. You might notice that a lot of plants in your area are flowering. This is the time for pollinators to come and help the plant reproduce. Flowering comes the fruit. The fruit is the protector of the seeds, and the seeds are what helps the plant reproduce. After the fruit, the leaves may start to change color. This indicates that it's fall time. When the leaves start to fall off altogether, that might indicate that it's winter time. I mentioned earlier that now it's flowering season. This is a great time for pollinators like bees and hummingbirds to help the plant reproduce. They'll come, collect pollen, and bring it to another flower, helping the flower spread. Here we have an example of a bee picking up pollen. You can see the pollen on its leg while it collects nectar from the flower. This bee will go to a different flower, carrying that pollen with it. If you look closely in this video, you can see a bee going from flower to flower on this plant, helping pollinate it. Hummingbirds are also examples of pollinators. As you can see, there is pollen on this bird's beak. As it goes to another flower to collect nectar, it will spread that pollen as well. Pollination helps the plant reproduce in the spot that they're in, but how do they get around? How do they spread? That's where seed dispersal comes in. Here's an example of how some seeds are carried by animals. See how this plant seeds stick to this the animal's fur? When the animal walks around and the seeds fall off, they'll plant in different places. Seeds being carried by wind is another example of seed dispersal. As you can see on this dandelion, the seeds are being carried off and help spread the flower. Here's an example of a game you can play that will show you how seed dispersal works. All you'll need is a few pieces of popcorn and a spoon. So you place the popcorn in your spoon like this. You walk around and let them fall where they go. As you can see, I started over here, but popcorn spilled here, 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 and there. That spread the plant all the way this way. That is an example of how seeds are carried and spread by animals. Now for our next example, you're going to place a few pieces of popcorn down, either on the ground or on a table, and blow them. This is an example of how seeds are carried by wind. You see how the popcorn went from here and spread to here, 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 and here? I hope you learned something today about phenology, seed dispersal, and pollination. I hope you enjoy the game.